Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Dick. Let's continue our journeys. Episode 4, The Hall. Scarlet will use the hall. She booked the last date. And there are no more dates available for another year. I'm very sad. But we'll find another one. Don't worry about it. I'm disappointed, but it doesn't matter. We'll find another hall. Of course, this is New York, baby. I'm sorry I can make your dream come true. You already doing that by making me your wife. What do you say we go hunting for a wedding venue? Sounds like a plan. I'm already reaching out to my contacts. You mean your father? Can I offer you anything else? Just a bill, please. Then I'll transfer you the money, as usual. I'm afraid we don't accept money transfers. Don't you know who I am? I'm sorry, I'm new to the city. Tell Katie Jimmy Lynn was here. She'll explain. Alright. Hey Macy, how's it going? A guy named Jimmy Lan says he wants to transfer you money. Yes, Jimmy, no problem. He's a friend. Besides, he's a famous TV show host. Don't you know him? Okay, no, I didn't know him. Can you come in later to talk about this? Sure, I'll stop by later. Thanks, Macy. Don't you watch TV, Macy? How are things with your new partner? It's fabulous because she's doing all her job. It's fabulous, of course. Having a partner is fabulous. I can finally leave Mary's in peace. Exactly, like, see? You deserve this break. Hello, my darlings. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. My wedding planner made me look at a hundred different tablecloths. You have a wedding planner? Of course, don't you? It's marvelous. Everything's solved so easily. It hadn't occurred to me. With how busy you are, it wouldn't hurt. Colin and I don't want to have a deal with anything. It's perfect. She's the one who booked you the Royal Plaza. Isn't it fantastic? Yes, it's a beautiful hall. How did you know about the hall? I went to ask about dates, but they were all taken. Don't tell me you wanted it too. Yeah, we just came from there. We'll find another one that it's not the only hall in New York. If Katie wants that one, you should get it for her. Her friend Scarlett got the last closest date. We'd have to wait a year. There's nothing I can do. What do you mean a year? We'll see about that. No, you're not. Tell him not to do anything. Yeah, it's Say it explicitly. Please stay out of it. Katie and I are handling it. Don't worry, son. Everything's going to be okay. What does he mean by that? Like, see? I have a surprise for you. Hey bro, fantastic news, congratulations! As soon as I can, I'll go to New York and give you a hand. And organize your bachelor party, I've already told the guys. The guys? I hope you're not adding more guests to the list. I don't understand what kind of party you two want to have. Did you go to the Royal Plaza to have something small? I don't think so. It's not Royal Plaza anymore, come on. I already told you we don't want something too big. You're getting married, son. You deserve a wedding to remember. Yes, to remember. Not 400 people I'll forget. Exactly. You finally give me something I can work with. Let me enjoy it. What? I hope you really enjoy my wedding, dad. Goodbye, son, and don't forget a night to remember.
You're getting married? It's been a while, Celine. Yes, I'm getting married. How are you? I'm in New York for a few days. Do you want to get together? No. College parents who are no longer with us were married in that hall. It's my gift to him. I know he cares a great deal. What a sweet story. Who knew we'd get married on similar dates? If it's important to you, I can... Forget it. I don't want anything to come between us. Then I'll help you find an even better hall. Today, I have to go to the Royal Plaza. I'll ask them. I could use the help. There's a reason you're friends. You have the same taste. Luckily, not the same taste in man. Have you got your dress yet? Not yet, but I know Natasha Goldier is designing it. Should I know who's going to make mine too? Relax, the maid of honor will help you with that. I'm so lucky I chose the best. Yeah, not the worst like Olivia. You're the best friends. This wedding excites me more and more every day. I love being in this journey with you, darling. I gotta go. I have to meet with my partner. You're supposed to work with her. Surprise for my favorite daughter-in-law. What kind of surprise now? What? How's the bride to be? Good, I'm sorry about Jimmy. No worries, but we should agree on a few things, don't you think? A procedure that won't depend on whether you or I are on site. Yes, I agree completely. That will help a lot. I agree, we have to be more organized. I found myself a great partner. A worker, you mean? One who loves to put together procedures. I must admit, they're not my forte. You'll see how it helps us have more free time and fewer responsibilities. I'd like that. Fewer responsibilities, you like that, huh? I've also been thinking we should replace Sue and George. Are you talking about hiring a new Sue chef? Don't you think it's necessary? Hello? Girl, what did you do? What are you talking about? I'm at the hall and they told me I don't have the date anymore. It's under your name now. My name? The manager told me that someone with a lot of influence did it for you. I know you know the governor, but I didn't think you were capable of doing this. I didn't do anything, I swear. Then help me fix this. You know how important this place is to Colin and me? Yes, I'll fix that, don't worry. Just a second. Surprise for my favorite daughter-in-law. It was Sam. I have to help Scarlett. Scarlett would get that date. I think I know who it was. I'll fix this. The hall is yours. Thank you, sweetie. My wedding depends on you. I'll call you back. We need to talk, Sam, in person. My dear daughter-in-law, your husband's long gone. You should communicate better. I know you pulled strings to get that date for the hall. I want you to undo it immediately. But it's the venue of your dreams. It's my friend's dream venue and she booked it first. By only a few hours? It's not like I kick her guest out of the place. I don't care. I want you to call the hall right now. I'm on my way. I hope this has been resolved by the time I get there. Scarlet, it was my father who messed with your reservation. We're so sorry, girl. I know you had nothing to do with it. I told him not to meddle, but he's out of control. 
thanks for coming all this way and trying to fix it. Let's hope it works. We got a call, and the date's yours again, Scarlet. Yay! And I'll be on the lookout in case a date is suddenly available for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'd like to offer our apologies and invite you to a tasting. Sounds great. What do you say? Colin's on his way. He'll love it. We can have dinner together. Do you feel better? Of course, it would have been unfair for us to keep the date. And we even won a dinner. Did you have a little too much chardonnay too? Just to keep up with you, love. I think you got a drop left on your lip. I'll take care of it. Shall we take this energy to the bedroom? Should I carry you in my arms or do we save it for the wedding night? I'm just asking you to let me know before you do anything, Dad. I ask you not to get involved or you're not gonna get the invitation. I know you did it with good intentions, but it didn't go well. Just because you fix it doesn't take away from what you did. Yes, that's all I'm asking. No more surprises. Thank you. Love you. Goodbye. Is this a bad time? No, not at all. How oh, are you? Good, I don't know what surprises me the most, seeing you or the fact that you're getting married. It's true, we haven't seen each other in a while. You haven't changed a bit, you do. I wish I could say the same. I still can't believe it, Emily. But you fixed it. Yes, I was finally able to put Sam in his place. I need to know if Adam was able to talk to his father. I hope he can clear things up with him. See you later at Mary's to talk about the dress. Yes, thanks, hon. Here's to your marriage. Here's to love. I always thought we still had a second chance. Not with you. I think I just blew my chance now. Life goes on in unexpected ways. But thanks for the compliment. I have fond memories of us. I'm going back to Tokyo tomorrow. Why don't we have a farewell date? We'd better have dinner at home. It wasn't what I had in mind, but I get it. You are a great man, Adam. A man I let slip away. Let me at least have this parting gift. No, go away, Sally. No one wants you. Adam! Causing problem again? Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on our next journeys.